What's up, everybody? I'm about to drop some game real quick. I'm about to head to the gym after this, but before I head there, I wanted to drop some game. I wanted to talk about the three biggest lessons that I learned in 2022. Um, so yeah, last year. So for those of you guys that didn't know, in 2021, my business did over a million dollars in revenue. And then in 2022, we 10X. We went from $1 million a year to over $10 million a year. And the key things that I learned to get me from $1 million to $10 million, I'm going to talk about in this live, all right? So I'm going to just run through it. The first thing that I learned is sometimes we're not one gem away from getting to the next level. We're one person away from getting to the next level, right? Um, I spent a lot of time going to different masterminds, different conferences, watching a bunch of YouTube videos, buying a bunch of courses, thinking that I was missing some gem or some something that I didn't know to get me to that next level when in fact, what I was missing was more people in my business, more people that have different skills than I have and putting them in my bus business and putting them in positions to win, right? So that's one thing that I, I would give advice to you on is sometimes you're not one gem away, you're one person away. Maybe, maybe you're missing a COO in your business to get you to that next level. Maybe you're missing a really, really good sales guy in your business to get you to that next level. Maybe you're missing a sales manager or a tech person or, or, you know, someone, there's a missing piece somewhere. And if you were to just, you know, connect with that person, that could lead you to a whole nother level rather than some strategy or tactic that you're trying to, you know, find. The next thing that I learned and this is actually a, a big one, is that consistency triumphs all other strategies, right? A lot of people always ask me like, yo, Will, how'd you scale so fast? Or like, yo, Will, what's the secret? And the secret is I've been doing what I do since 2018, right? And because I've been so consistent and because I've been doing one thing for the past, how, how long has it been? Like five years, six years? Because I've only been doing one thing, I've been able to improve it because I'm so consistent. I know my numbers. I know the KPIs. I'm able to improve upon that one thing because I've mastered it to this point. A lot of us, we get stuck in that shiny object syndrome where we'll focus on one hustle for 30 days, then switch the hustle 30 days later. Or we might focus on one thing for 90 days and then switch the hustle. We see something else that's working on Instagram. Um, we might be doing e-commerce for two months. And then we see Airbnb and we're like, oh, we should start an Airbnb. And then we see real estate wholesaling. And we're like, oh, we should get into that. When in fact, guys, if you if you just stayed consistent in one thing, that consistency is going to ultimately lead to your success if you never give up. Because eventually you're going to figure it out. And not only are you going to figure it out, you're going to figure out ways to to optimize it and to, and to be better at it than, than most people that have just been in it, you know, in a shorter, shorter time frame than you. But um, yeah, that's one thing. So consistency. Um, and then the next thing, what do I got is somewhere here. I know I was, I knew I was going to forget. So if you guys want to learn how to start an online business, make sure to go to this link down here. The link is down here. All right. Yeah. So the next thing is, is mentorship, right? And uh, you see a lot of people, this is the last thing. So the first one was sometimes you're one person away, not one gem away from getting to the next level. The second one was consistency, right? So a lot of us lack consistency. We're changing side hustles or main hustles every single month. How do you expect to see progress in something when you're you're starting a new business every other month, right? It just doesn't work that way. But the last thing, guys, that I'm going to say that helped me a lot, and this one might, you know, you guys might feel some type of way about this one because it's not really like a big gem. It's not really like a big secret. But the last thing is keeping your health like intact okay when i say health i mean like sleeping and, and getting enough sleep eating you know putting good things in your body drinking enough water like i can't guys from 2018 to like 2020 i was very very unhealthy i gained a lot of weight i was doing a lot of uber eats i thought i was in grind mode you know staying up till 3 a.m 4 a.m working but eventually that that shit caught up to me right like i started having a lot of brain fog it started being harder for me to focus. Um, I started getting tired easily. My energy was low every single day. So when I started focusing on my health and like going to the gym, but not only just going to the gym every day, but also, you know, eating the right foods and everything like that, it gave me more energy, which allowed me to work longer hours. It gave me better clarity, which allowed me to think through problems better. And it ultimately made me more money. Like being healthy made me more money, right? 
So, and that's why, like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I just made a post. But I just recently opened a gym in Atlanta called Rich and Fit. And the reason why it's called Rich and Fit is because, you know, not only should you be focused on getting the bag, but you should also be focused on getting your health right. And being rich and being fit also go hand in hand. Like, you don't, you, you don't want to be rich and, and fat as hell, right? It just, it just doesn't work like that. Like, why would you want to be fat jumping out of a Lambo? Like, that, that's not cool, right? And I'm sorry if, if I'm offending anyone, but what's really cool is being rich and being healthy, being rich and fit, right? And also, rich doesn't always mean, like, it's not always monetary. If you're rich in the mind, like, if you're a positive thinker, if you're, if you're like, always optim optimal, like, or not, what's the word? If, you, if you're, like, um, positive all the time, then you're rich. And re being rich in the mind is sometimes better than being rich in your wallet. So that's why we started Rich and Fit. And uh, you guys should go follow the Instagram. The Instagram is at Rich and Fit Club. Definitely go follow the page. Uh, we're going to be opening in, at in Atlanta soon. And, yeah. Let me see. I'm going to answer some questions before I head out. And then the last thing was just, you know, being more healthy being more health conscious focusing on my health because if you if you focus on your health the wealth will come they go hand in hand is it expensive to start a business no i started my first online business with four hundred dollars and that business made me over a hundred thousand uh they got a few fake pages yeah there's a bunch of fake pages out there um this is my only real page outsourcing advice so you can use websites like upwork.com you can use websites like, uh, what is it? I think it's called um, onlinejobs.ph. Onlinejobs.ph and Upwork. Very good website to find VAs and people that you can outsource tasks to. Are all your trainings live? Yes, I do a live training every Sunday. What's good, Colin? So Colin's actually the COO of my business. And adding him into my business made me millions of dollars because, guys... What you got to understand is that um, you shouldn't be, I'm, I'm going to drop this gem and then I'm going to leave because I think this is important and I don't even want to like flood you guys with information because you've, you're probably not going to remember all of it. But if you leave this live with one thing, leave with what I'm about to say right now. If you want to scale a business and you want to scale it to a high level, you're wasting your time trying to improve your weaknesses. And I'm going to say it again. You are wasting your time trying to get better at what you suck at, right? If you want to scale a business to a big level, write down all of your strengths, focus on your strengths, and then all of your weaknesses, you should not be spending time doing any of them. Just like, just give it up. Just, just hang it up. All of those things that you suck at, you just suck at those things, all right? Instead of trying to be better at those things, find someone that is already a master at your weaknesses. Find someone that is already goaded at those things and actually loves doing those things. A lot of times we, we go out there and try to improve our weaknesses and we don't even like doing them, right? Like for example, me, um, let's say I hate, I hate getting on like Zoom calls and, and talking to people and doing meetings. So why would I try to improve my communication skills and being on meetings and doing all that when I can just hire someone like Colin, who's a great, you know, person to be in meetings. He's a great like he's very organized. He's great at taking notes. He's great at implementing stuff. He's great at relaying the information to me. Why not put him in position to win rather than me trying to half ass it? Because I'm never going to be as good as him. Right. Um, why? Why would I if I suck at web design? Why would I go and spend months of my time? trying to learn web design and and steer away from what I'm actually good at when I can just hire a web design expert that already has years of experience on me, right? A lot of times that holds us back. So I would say write down your weaknesses and just hire people that are excellent at those things. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Will, I don't have the money to hire people and all this, but trust me, it's more expensive not to have those people in your business. And by more expensive, I mean, like, remember what I said, we went from we went from making a million dollars a year to $10 million a year from just adding people to the business. 
So actually not hiring, not hiring people was costing me $9 million a year. That's expensive. It's not expensive hiring these, these uh, people on my team. What's expensive is I was missing out on $9 million in revenue a year, not having these people on there. So again, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I'm about to head to the gym. Hopefully you got some value out of this live. I appreciate you guys for being on here. Again, if you wanna learn how to start an online business, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can open up wholesale accounts with big name brands like Logitech, Sony, Fiji, buy their products wholesale, and then sell it for retail on Amazon. I see a lot of these people that are in this live right now actually attended the workshop and they're already making money, uh, such as my boy Derek. Derek attended my free workshop and uh, he made over $50,000 in sales so far on Amazon. So shout out to him. Uh, I saw Terrell in here earlier as well. I think he's the, he did over 24,000 in sales his first 24 days, so in less than a month. So if you guys wanna get results like that, again, the link is right here, www.ecomdegreeworkshop.com, or you can go to the link in my bio. Yeah, I see my boy Terrell. Hey, shout out, shout out you, bro, keep going crazy. I don't even know how many sales you're at now, but last time I checked, you said you did 24,000 um, in less than 30 days. So that's, or no, you, you did uh, 10,000 in less than 30 days, bro. That's a big accomplishment, keep going. I can't wait for you to hit 100K. And I know you guys that are watching this live can do the same exact thing, all right? Again, love you guys. Peace. See you on Sunday. Make sure you register for that workshop. Let's get it.